So this is the last part of the video. We're gonna find, um, use least common multiple in a real world situation. So Johnny has soccer at McMillan Park every two weeks. So Johnny's playing soccer and he goes to the McMillan Park every two weeks. Vanessa has softball at McMillan Park every five weeks. So every five weeks, she is going to McMillan Park. Now, what I wanna know is how many weeks will it take for both John and Vanessa to be at the McMillan Park at the same time? So if Johnny is going every two weeks and Vanessa is going every five weeks, eventually, at one point, they're gonna be at McMillan Park at the same time. So this is how we're gonna use LCM. We're gonna count by twos for Johnny. Put J for Johnny. So Johnny is at McMillan Park every two weeks. So in two weeks, he's at McMillan. In four weeks, he's at McMillan. In six weeks, he's at McMillan. At eight weeks, he's at McMillan. And at 10 weeks, he's at McMillan. So before I keep on going, I'm gonna start doing Vanessa now. So Vanessa, every five weeks. So let's count by fives. So Vanessa's gonna be at the park for the first time in five weeks. So you can see they're not gonna be in the park at the same time yet because Johnny was there at two weeks and then he was there at four weeks, but Vanessa was there at five weeks and Johnny's there at six weeks. So you can see they missed each other. Now the next time Vanessa's going, it's gonna be five more weeks. So five weeks afterwards will be 10 and guess what? That is the first time that Johnny and Vanessa are gonna be at the same park at the same time. So it's gonna take 10 weeks for Johnny and Vanessa to meet at McMillan. So that is how we use LCM in a real world situation. So there you go. We did greatest common factor. Remember when you're doing greatest common factor, you're splitting the number into the different factors that give you that number. And then you're finding what is the biggest number that is the same on both of them because it's greatest common factor. When you're doing LCM, you're basically, let's count, man. You're counting by the number. So five, 10, 15, 20, or you can say you're multiplying by the number. Five times one, five times two, five times three. Now, what you do is you do it for each of the numbers and the first time you meet the least, the smallest number that is common is gonna be your answer. So make sure you know the difference. Greatest is gonna be the biggest common, the biggest number that's the same on both of them. And then least common will be the smallest number that's the same. So there you go, that's how we do factors and multiples.